People say I've got a shopping problem. That ain't no reason to stop. People saying that I've hit rock bottom. Just cause I'm living a Hobby Lobby. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video. I know that you guys read that I relapsed on the thumbnail and I definitely meant it in a funny way. But yes, you guys, I did relapse with my Hobby Lobby addiction, I guess. I am so happy that Hobby Lobby finally opened in my town. It opened on Saturday and I could not be more excited. I made my way there first thing in the morning morning even Jonathan was surprised because I usually take Saturdays to sleep in a little since I do wake up at 5 during the week but I was up and ready by like 7 30 and I drove out of the house at 8 and I was just ready I wanted to get it over with because I knew exactly what I was going for and what I wanted so yeah I'm just ecstatic that it's finally open and again of course I just took my precautions I wore my mask face masks are mandatory in Albuquerque at least I think New Mexico in general but you are required to wear a face mask so I went into the store with my face mask they're also only allowing 25% capacity at any retailer and then they also took like their own precautions so if you're gonna head out just make sure you are careful and you're washing your hands and covering your face but I'm really excited to show you guys what I got and then I do have two items that my friend Olivia gave to me and I'm just really excited about them so I wanted to share them with you so let's go ahead and get started with the haul I have run out of breath because I'm just so excited <laughs> but yeah I'm just I'm ecstatic I'm really happy Hobby Lobby is open but anyways let's get into the haul so the first item that I got you guys already know that I have those wooden spoon wooden spoons that I use on my like kitchen area like those rods that I have in the kitchen so I found these spoons and I thought these were so cute and it would be like a nice change for my summer decor because they're just like a white enamel with like a black border I felt like this was very like hearth and hand likey and they were not expensive at all everything I got was 50% off so I'm just gonna tell you guys the price and then you guys can just deduct 50% off of that but this was marked at $7.99 so I thought that was a really good deal and they're just like super cute they just look like this okay next item I don't know what I'm going to use this for yet but I thought it was cute and I think it goes overall with the theme or at least the look I'm trying to like go for this time around but that is this little like vintage looking tray it's just in a cream color I thought this was awesome because I've told you guys that using white is hard now because it kind of just like blends in with the walls so I like that this is just like an off-white color and again I don't necessarily know what I'm gonna use it for yet but I know I'll find a place I was thinking maybe my coffee table but you guys will just have to stick around to see what I decide to use it for. But yeah, I love this. And again, this one's marked at $7.99. Um, next, a small item. You guys, I tried, I think the only things I really needed was like small filler items. And then I did get a couple of bigger pieces. So yeah, that's basically what I went for Hobby Lobby. But I knew exactly like the theme I was going for. So the next item I got was this little cute ceramic bird. And he just looks like this. I believe he was $2.99. Again, 50% off, and he's just really cute just to fill up empty space. So that is the next thing I got. Oh my God, I don't know if my house is hot or if I'm just that excited, but I suddenly got a heat flash. Okay, <laughs> the next item that I got was this kitchen towel. Jonathan was really happy to hear that this was not $13 like my last kitchen towel that I hauled, but this was actually marked at $5.99 so I got it for around $3 and I just thought it looked so cute and it's gonna match perfectly with that other towel if you guys haven't seen that haul I'll link it up here but this one just says love you a bushel and a peck and a hug around the neck and I just thought it was super cute and the other one is meant to go on my kitchen rods so I thought that this one would be perfect to go on my um, stove or the other way around I'm not sure because the other one is white and again I don't want to put white on like the white wall so I might switch it around just depends how it looks but I absolutely love this one 
Okay, next thing, um, we've actually been needing some of these for a while because I don't really use like shakers but i got these like salt and pepper shakers in this cute little galvanized tin i thought this would be super cute to just leave on my dining room table because right now i just use the salt and pepper cellars but sometimes it just gets annoying having to like dig your hand in there grab a pinch of it and like put it on your food so jonathan really likes just like the normal shakers and i usually don't use like my decorative ones for that so i thought this was going to be functional and it also looks cute it'll make i mean i think it'll look cute on my dining room table so that is what i got and this one is marked at 9.99 so five dollars okay um up next i'm actually going to show you guys because i think this is really cute but I got this little bell and it just says ring for a kiss. This was in the wedding section. The funny thing about this is I didn't grab it. Jonathan grabbed it and he just thought it was really cute. And then I thought it was cute. I think it makes sense with my theme. So he grabbed it. The cute thing was he like walked around the whole store like ringing it. So I was like, do you want a kiss or like what's the matter? And he would just like go like. So it was just cute because we were both wearing face masks so we couldn't really you know whatever you guys get the point but anyways this was $6.99 and it was marked 50% off so got this one and the next item was not on sale but I did use my 40% coupon so I got it for 40% off but oh my god you guys just look at it it's a little piggy with boots like how precious is this this is so freaking cute i absolutely love it i had been picturing something like this and i just hadn't found anything so i absolutely love this because you guys know i'm gonna use that cow frame so i just wanted like a little pig to like match the whole like farm theme so i absolutely love him and he was $14.99 and i got him 40 percent off i don't know what i'm gonna name him but i'll come up with the name and let you guys know in my decorate with me video so yeah, he's just so cute. Okay, next item. It's actually a functional item, surprisingly, but I have been wanting to get more into baking recently, but I don't have a mixer. And as much as I would love one of those like big kitchen aid mixers, they are so expensive and I just don't feel like making that investment yet until I prove to myself that I am going to use it. So I thought that a good compromise would be like a hand mixer and at Hobby Lobby I found a, this cute pink hand mixer. It's just small and perfect for me right now that I'm going to start. Like I want to start baking so I think it was a good option but this is regularly $25 and it was 50% off so I got it for about $12.50, $13 which I thought was a really good price for these and I absolutely think it's really cute. It's just a light pink color and I'm gonna give it a go you guys. I want to make myself some of that whipped coffee and I want to make some tortillas, some handmade tortillas so this will come in handy for that so I'm pretty excited. I'm really excited that I got this. Okay, next items are greenery or florals, whatever you want to call them. And I just got these white roses. I think these are going to look perfect with the like baby's breath that I got. And I think they play off well um, off of the cow print that I got as well. Because if you guys remember, um, the cow print like it's like full of white florals. So I thought this would be really cute as like maybe a centerpiece on my island um, or a centerpiece like on my coffee table. I'm still not sure, but you can never go wrong with having extra florals or greenery when you're decorating. So I got these and they were 50% off. So they are originally $6.99 and I got two of them 50% off each. So I, I got two for $6.99 basically. <laughs> and the last two items that I got from Hobby Lobby are actually really cute it's just this galvanized bucket it's almost like the one i currently have on my um tv console but this one is just way smaller my camera cut me off but anyways i was saying that i just think this is gonna look um cute because i can place like 
Basically, I can have one in one corner of my house and the other one in the other corner of my house and they'll play off of each other, which is something that I really like doing um, just to make the whole space tie in and make like everything belongs with each other. So that is why I got this one and this one was $17.99, 50% off. So I'm excited to see what I can do with this. I was thinking I'll place some greenery in here or I don't know, maybe just leave it empty. I still don't know, I'll figure it out, but I'm excited to have this one and the bigger one. So I just, I gotta be creative. I gotta come up with some ideas. So I'm going to challenge myself. But the last item that I got from Hobby Lobby is this like very rustic looking like planter. It's a planter, but basically it looks like a uh, I don't know what you even call it like one of those things that you use to water your plants i'm blinking on the word right now but i got this to place my plant that i have on my tv console and i'm likely gonna place this underneath like the bottom level shelf of my tv console and i think it's just gonna look really cute and again just i'm playing off of like adding those like vintage or like rustic items so that is why i got this one and then this one is regularly $24.99 and it was 50% off. So, so excited about this and styling it. And just, you guys, if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and you hit that notification bell because I'm honestly so excited for my summer decorating videos. So, yeah. And lastly, the last two items I want to show you guys are two things that my friend Olivia gifted to me and I'm just really excited about them. I thought they were super cute and I'm going to use them in my decorating videos. So I wanted to show you guys. But the first thing is this little, I don't even know what it is, but it's like a wooden figure in the, I think it's a cow. I want to say it's a cow but it's just really cute and I think it's like it's a good piece to just fill up empty space and did I just move you guys? I am sorry I moved you, but yeah, I just thought that it was really cute and I can use it somewhere in my house. So that is that. And the next item I'm super excited about because I actually thought it was much smaller when she showed me in pictures, but when I got it, I was like, holy guacamole, this is huge. But I think it's gonna be even better because I can actually style it a little bit more than what I could have if it was like smaller, but it is this vintage scale and it is huge you guys like look at that it's bigger than my head but it is absolutely amazing it's like all rusty and i just love it it even has like a crack on the on this like plastic and i know maybe some people wouldn't like that but i actually like it like i don't know it just makes it seem a little bit more vintage i guess but it does work it's actually like a working scale so I'm just really excited to figure out a way to display this and show you guys how I make it like a little bit more summery. So yeah, that is everything for this video, you guys. Let me place my scale down. But that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are excited for my decorating videos because I know that I am. So again, if you are new, I would really love for you to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell to make sure you are notified of my upcoming videos. But yeah, that is everything I have for you guys. To those of you coming back, again, thank you guys so much. It means the world to me. You guys already know how grateful I am. So I hope everybody has a great rest of your day and I will see you guys in my next video, which is a decorating video slash clean with me and it is an exciting collab. So make sure you come back on Thursday at 7 a.m. Mountain Standard Time for my next video. Until then, bye.